Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at the three best dividend royalty stocks according to top analysts. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at some dividend stocks that come in with a strong buy consensus from some of the top ranked analysts on Tip Ranks. Now these companies are dividend royalty, so either aristocrats or kings, meaning they've been paying and increasing their dividends for 25 or 50 years straight. So in today's video, we'll take a quick look at these companies and what they do, their dividend payments, and what Wall Street analysts are predicting for their stock's future. I also just want to say thank you for your patience while I was away this past week. I had a great opportunity to travel overseas to join Tip Ranks for their company trip. We had an amazing few days in Montenegro and I got to meet a lot of the team members that I've only gotten to email with before, so it was really fantastic. And I'll throw some pictures up at the end in case you're interested. Now let's jump right into these three dividend stocks. First on our list today, we have a company that just recently achieved dividend king status this year. That is retail giant Walmart. With a market cap of over $403 billion, the Walmart stock trades under the ticker WMT, currently priced just shy of $150 per share. They've seen growth of 23% over this past year and are up over 8% in the last few months. The very first Walmart store was opened up here in the U.S. back in 1962, and they have a massive presence across America, but have also expanded internationally as well. Walmart operates approximately 10,500 stores and clubs across 20 different countries, plus their e-commerce websites. They employ over 2 million associates, with nearly 1.6 million in the U.S. alone. As I mentioned, they just reached Dividend King status, increasing their dividend for the 50th time this year. Walmart pays a quarterly dividend of $0.57 cents per share for a current dividend yield of 1.51%. Their next ex-dividend date is on August 10th for payment on September 5th. They shared their Q1 earnings report on May 18th, where they did come out with an earnings beat. They reported earnings per share of $1.47, coming in $0.15 cents ahead of analysts' expectations. And total revenue of $152.5 billion was up 7.7%. Their e-commerce net sales grew 26% globally as well. Of course, the Walmart stock gathers plenty of attention from Wall Street and currently has 29 analyst ratings coming in as a strong buy. Looking at all analysts, we have 24 buy ratings and 5 holds with an average upside of over 12%. While just looking at the top-ranked analysts, we then have 17 buys and 3 holds and an average upside of nearly 14%. Many of those price targets have been reiterated just within this last week, the most recent coming in today with a hold and an upside of 6%, but many of the others a buy in that low double-digit area. Second on our list, we have Cisco. Their stock trades under the ticker SYY, currently priced at over $71 per share and a market cap of nearly $37 billion. Now, their stock has fallen this past year, currently down over 12% and falling a few percent over the last few months. Cisco is the global leader in selling, marketing, and distributing food products. They work with restaurants, healthcare and educational facilities, lodging establishments, and other customers who prepare meals away from home. Its family of products also includes equipment and supplies for the food service and hospitality industries. Their robust international network supports customers in 90 different countries around the world. Cisco is also a dividend king, having paid a dividend every single quarter since they went public back in 1970. Their current quarterly dividend is $0.50 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.7%. Their next ex-dividend date is on July 6th for payment on July 28th. Their next earnings report will be coming up on August 8th, where analysts are anticipating earnings per share of $1.33, which would be an increase over last year. But Cisco has struggled with meeting those expectations this past year, which has helped add to the stock's decline. They've been a few cents short on earnings the last three quarters, so we'll see if they can pull out an earnings beat this summer. Despite missing those earnings per share estimates, they did see their sales increase 11% year-over-year. They delivered double-digit top and bottom line growth and had an increase of volume and market share gains. The company also saw their free cash flow more than double to $980 million year-to-date. Their stock currently has 9 analyst ratings coming in as a strong buy. Looking at all analysts, that breaks down to 8 buy ratings and just 1 hold, with an average upside of over 20%. And when we narrow that down to the top analysts, we have four buys and one hold, and still an average upside just shy of 20%. Looking at our detailed list of analyst forecasts, even our hold ratings do have some double-digit upside. On the low end, we have an upside of 11%, and on the high end, over 23%. 
And third on our list, we have one of the better known dividend stocks with Realty Income. Realty Income trades under the ticker O, currently priced at $60 per share in a market cap of over $40 billion. Their stock is down over 7% this past year, down nearly 5% the last few months. Realty Income is a REIT or Real Estate Investment Trust, and they are famously known as the Monthly Dividend Company. Their monthly dividends are supported by the cash flow from over 12,400 real estate properties primarily owned under long-term net lease agreements. Their top clients include some huge names out there, including CVS, Walmart, FedEx, Walgreens, Dollar Tree, 7-Eleven, and many more. And as I mentioned, the company pays out their dividend every single month. They have had 635 consecutive monthly dividends and have increased those 102 consecutive quarters. Their current dividend is $0.25 cents per share for a dividend yield of nearly 5%. Their last ex-dividend date was at the end of May, but don't worry, you don't have to wait long for the next one. Their next earnings report will be coming out on August 2nd, where analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of $0.34. Cents. Their stock currently does just have six analyst ratings, but does come in as a strong buy. That is based on five buy ratings and one hold. With an average price target of nearly $70, it would be an upside potential of almost 16%. And with just six analyst ratings, we still have four top analysts in there with three buys and one hold and an average upside of over 14%. On the low end, we do have our hold rating from a few months ago with an upside of nearly 10% and the most recent rating coming in with an upside of over 23%. So there we have three dividend royalty stocks, all with buy ratings from some top ranked analysts. Let me know your thoughts on these stocks in the comments down below and what other stocks are catching your eye lately. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just showing you what those Wall Street analysts are up to and providing some information and entertainment. Please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence and sticking to your own investment plan. If you made it to the end of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here next time.